There are a lot of celebrities that died in recent time, but few of them, just few of them died broke. Some of them went broke because of their mismanagement of form, while others because of their health situation went so critical that they couldn't afford their medical bills. So today, we are going to look into Nigerian celebrities who died broke. But before then, if you are new to my channel, please click on the red subscribe button to subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon to be notified anytime I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Ejimozi, E J I M O Z Y. I'm always active on Instagram. Just follow me there. So let's get right into the video. James Uche. Prince James Uche was popular for his lead roles in classic movies such as Ikudu and Lost Kingdom. He was discharged from hospital because he couldn't pay his hospital bills in 2017. He then started asking his colleagues, Nigerian government and the general public for financial help. Well many Nigerians came to his rescue, but the alien actor still passed away in March 2017. Martins Njubuibu the veteran actor was reported sick for a while and could not pay his medical bills. His fans tried to raise money to assist in payment of his medical bills to aid his quick recovery. Senior pastor of Champions Royal Assemble, Abuja, Joshua Iginla had assisted Elder Maya to raise 1 million naira for his treatment. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2016 at the age of 74. Elder Maya is an actor, poet, musician, who gave over 20 years of his life to the Nigerian entertainment industry. Martin Sinjubibu was also known as Edamaya or Papa Labista from popular Nigerian movie titled Labista. The actor always poured his heart to his acting and it became easy for Nigerians to associate with the character with the real man. He acted movies for a score of years. Over this span of years, the most popular of them are The Proof and the Barrister, Died Wretched and Battle of Muzanga. Ashley Mwosu Ashley Mwosu passed away in April 2011 after battling with liver complications at the age of 58. It was reported that Nollywood abandoned him during his ailment period and it was rumored that a lot of his colleagues were indebted to him financially. The family still went on to plead the general public for help but their plea fell on deaf ear and the actor died. Before his death, he is one of the most creative and gifted actors in Nigeria having a career in the movie industry. Ashley Mwosu started his career in 1988 with NTA network series drama called Telemovies. And then, he joined Nollywood in the early 90s and featured in several Nollywood movies. Before I continue with the video, let's go for a small break. I'm alright, my daughter. What do you want to be in the future? I've got two ambitions. One. A prayer warrior. Two. A doctor. Uh, why those two? So that when uh, I'm baptized, I'll be baptized at 14. And when I'm baptized at 14, I'm going to pray for you so that that head of yours can push down. But if prayer doesn't work and I finish my degree at being a doctor, I'm going to operate your head. Idiot. Enebeli Elebuwa. When Enebeli Elebuwa fell ill in 2011, Shegun arranged a plea with many Nigerians to help raise funds to treat the alien actor who was battling with stroke. The Delta State government came to his rescue and flew him to India for treatment, but it was too late and the actor passed away. After his death, Stella Damasus expressed disappointment by the way the matters was handled by his colleagues, but unfortunately, he died at the age of 66 on 5th December 2012. Enebele Lebuwa joined the Nigerian movie industry in the 1980s and has acted over 200 movies before his death. He acts mostly in action and epic movies. Olumide Bakari A Badon-based actor Olumide Bakari was admitted into a hospital after a cardiac arrest. He cried out for help from his colleagues while begging them to help him with financial assistance to help raise his medical bills and also send a word of prayer to his family. He however passed away in April 2017 after he had been ill for a long time. 
Bakary began his career in the sitcom Coco Close, where he featured as Chief Coco with the Nigerian Television Authority NTA. He acted movies such as Mami in 2011, Isho Nishe in 2009, and many more. Pakasumu, popular Nollywood actor Olukayode Odumosu, popularly known as Pakasumu, was struggling to stay alive at Lut while battling with heart and liver diseases, and secondary prevention of repeated stroke after previous stroke has spent so much on these diseases. When it was first diagnosed, the doctor said that the ailment was severe, that they would need to control its progression for it not to affect my kidneys. This they did, and I was happy they succeeded. But now, other serious ailments have set in, necessitating this battle of survival. I am not tired yet. I will still want to continue to make people laugh, but my failing health is a terrible obstacle. Pakasumu battled with reoccurring illness in 2009. In 2011, news went viral that he suffered from stroke, but bounced back and was at the first edition of African Magic Viewer Choice Award held in Lagos in 2013. In 2019, he begged Nigerians and his colleagues to help him financially because he could no longer pay his medical bills. But in March 2020, Nollywood actor Olukayode died. Peter Buno. Peter Buno lost the battle to complications arising from stroke, which he battled for five years. The late actor, who had featured in a lot of movies, was declared dead on 2nd May 2015 at the age of 60. According to a net report in 2013, Peter Buno has complained that his parents, including some of those whose entrance and growth in the industry he helped put in place, had abandoned him. However, that same 2013, Buno said that his colleagues had abandoned him as he begged the general public to assist him financially. Benga Ajumoku, the Yoruba movie actor, comes scriptwriter, Benga Ajumoku has been down with financial problems. The Ogun State actor has been hospitalized in a hospital in Shagamu Remo, where he was diagnosed with diabetes and hypertension, which has got his two kidneys affected. He has solely been treating the ailment quietly until things got worse and he was transferred to a private hospital located at Ogun State. It was gathered that the injection he takes daily costs him nothing less like 20,000 naira and he has no capacity to further fund his bills. In 2019, he begged Nigerians and his colleagues to help him financially because he could no longer pay his medical bills. But unfortunately, Benga Jumoke died in March 2020. Chi Junglis, Orisha Femi's ex group member Chi Junglis died last year. The singer went to his Instagram page to announce the death of his former partner, who he said died after battling with undisclosed illness. Chi Junglis blew in Ajegule and still died broke while living in Ajegule. Many of Orisha Femi's fans blamed Orisha Femi for not helping his colleagues financially and was quick to mourn him when he died. Orisha Femi then explained that he actually helped. Blaming Chijongli's new friends for not speaking up about his illness on time. On his Instagram, Orisha Femi wrote, He was a brave man. He was the first to travel abroad among the both of us. That's China. He knew I can take any shot on his behalf. He was so sick for so long. His so-called new friends kept it until when it got worse for him. That was when I was informed. And I sent money to them immediately to take him straight to the hospital. The so-called friends told me the truth that my brother cannot survive anymore, that he has to take him back to his mom. My problem is why they waited for this long. If you are true friends, no one can bring out money except me. Nobody. All of you guys should have contributed 1k each if you truly want him to survive. But I did my own part. I'm not super rich, but I have stood for so many people in this life. I took my fellow brother's problems first before facing my own. There is no need to throw stones at anyone or throw blames. If I choose not to publicize how I help, doesn't mean I don't do my part. We can all be our brother's keepers. No more comments from me. Rest in peace, my brother. Thank you very much for having time to watch my video to the end. I have a question for you in the comment section. Which of these Nigerian celebrities used to be your favorite? Drop your opinion in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Turn on the bell notification icon to be notified anytime I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Ejimozi, E J I M O Z Y. I'm always active on Instagram. Just follow me there. Thank you very much and God bless you.
Sabaya Jimazi, Sabaya Jimazi, Sabaya Jimazi, Sabaya Jimazi.